Folks, I'm speaking at all of the masses this weekend, and I'm speaking on a topic that's near and dear to the hearts of everyone here, something precious to you. I'm talking about money. Usually, you know, um, usually the, the pastor usually gives the money talk in most parishes, and I asked Father Leon if um, uh, I might have the honors this year, and he agreed. Actually, you will be hearing from him on this topic in a letter he will be sending to parishioners within the next week or so. Every year um, in early September, it's an anxious time for most pastors, and that's because our parish's financial year ends on August 31st. In other words, our, our year is different. It corresponds to the school year. And so in early September, that's when the bean counters and the uh, accountants and the money people are uh, getting all the bills together to run, and the pastor is worrying about whether or not his parish is gonna end the year in the black or in the red. In his letter, Father Leon will share with you good news. We end it in the black and even with a modest surplus. And I don't need to tell you, in a time of pandemic, that is a remarkable achievement. And it happened because of you, your loyal and generous financial support. I wanna talk a little bit about what you have accomplished this past year. First, maybe some statistics. The parish celebrated 1,200 daily and weekend masses. There were 42 baptisms, 114 first communions, 34 people exchanged marriage vows, and 182 funerals were conducted. Our school operated at full capacity with waiting lists for most grades. Last June, 57 eighth graders graduated from St. Gregory's School. 54 of them will be attending Catholic or private high schools. And they were able to meet the entrance requirements at Canisius and Sacred Heart, Art and St. Joe's because of you because of your generous financial support for our parish. The parish, you see, subsidizes the school. Uh, and uh, we do that in order to keep Catholic education affordable for families. Without the financial help of the parish to the school, many of those families would not be able to afford the tuition and fees. So in the name of those graduates and their families, I thank you for what you have done and I ask you to continue doing that in this new current fiscal year. I ran into Father Richard Jedrzejewski. Yeah, I finally learned how to pronounce his name. Uh, he just retired recently. He was pastor of Our Lady of Black Rock School. And um, he said to me, oh, tell those people at St. Gregory's how much I am grateful for their support of our school for so many years. So I asked him what that meant. He said, St. Greg's has been helping to pay the school's heating bills every year for a good number of years. That school, as you may know, um, serves largely immigrant children, legal, I might add, um, helping them to learn English and helping them uh, to prepare for successful lives in their new country. And they do that very, very well. The kids that end up graduating from that school again, go on to, believe it or not, now these are kids who didn't know English when they were in fifth grade. Uh, at ninth grade, they go on to places like Canisia, St. Joe's, Narden, Sacred Heart, Mount St. Mary's. You know, they do, they do extremely well. That school does marvelous things for immigrants. And in the name of those immigrants who will never be able to tell you this, in the name of their families who wouldn't know how to tell you this, I want to thank you for what you have done, and I want to ask you to continue doing that in the future. See, too, um, your dollars do more than just simply educate children so they can have a happy and 
successful life here on earth, more importantly, that money provides them with a religious education, which opens to them the pathway to eternal life. Unlike many children in our world today, these kids learn that they are called, I quote the Baltimore Catechism, to know God, to love God, and to serve God in this world, and to be happy with him forever in the next world. Apart from the school families, St. Gregory School families, an additional 350 families this past year took part in family faith formation, and our youth ministry team served an additional 200 young people. Now, I could go on for a long time explaining how the dollars you contribute to the parish are making a real difference, how your support for our 80-some ministries is effective in helping us to achieve our mission of doing God's work in this time and place. But I do want to enable you to be home in time for dinner. And I don't think I need to do that. I think, I think you know that. You're, you're regular people. You're, you're what we used to call the, uh, the season ticket holders, you know, the people who are here every week. Um, and I think you understand that. So I will, as I say, uh, I will cut to the chase. Um, the letter you receive in the mail from Father Liam will contain a response card which we are asking you to fill out and return to us. The card lets you indicate your level of financial support for this coming year. And that helps the parish leadership to help ensure that our expenditures are in line with our income. It's an important uh, financial management tool. But before you make a decision about your financial support for this coming fiscal year, that is to say, what you are going to give back to God, I'm asking you to first consider what he has given to you. And you know, when you go through a hard time, like a pandemic, it's easy for us to think about what we do not have. I think that's kind of easy. You know, go through a pandemic, your things are not, you don't, you don't have, in many ways, you don't have what you would like to have. You think about what you don't have. I would ask you to think about what you do have, and the reality is that every one of us in this church today is in the top 20% of people in the world in terms of material goods, creature comforts, quality of life, and that is because we live in the United States of America. Our standard of living here, for even, even for people who are at the poverty level, is higher than that of 80% of the people in the world. So I'm simply saying, think about what you do have and be generous in giving back to God because he's been generous with you. And because we want to continue what we have been doing, that is using God's gifts to us to accomplish God's work in this time and place. This um, new fiscal year that began September 1st, it will present several challenges. First, we will not be receiving funds from the federal payroll protection program like we did in the year just ended. That was very helpful. And also, I think you can understand that a good number of our families simply are not able to contribute the way they did in the past because the pandemic has affected their finances adversely. So we're asking those who can to be even more generous than before. With Father Leon, I thank you and I thank God for you, amen.